That was a big fish. Whoa! Oh. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Nice fish. Welcome to uh, Kaikut. We got a big hell of it today. Kayukit and our first full day. Between the three species that we wanted to target, salmon, halibut, and lingcod, we're actually going to start off with halibut. Now, I want to start with it because I love halibut. Like it is the best, best, well, halibut and lingcod, they're the best at eating, in my opinion. But why did you want to start with halibut first? Just because of the sea conditions. The sea conditions? And it's always best in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then we have tide change coming. Oh, what time does the tide, tide right. change start? Right, right now. Right now? Yeah. Perfect. So we should have our lines on. Well, we should. <laughs> why are we filming? But, but joking aside, uh, last year when we were up here with you, it was the first time that I've ever caught and released halibut because we were getting so many. So we had lots to choose from. Right. We started off with, there were some smaller ones that were biting. And of course, uh, myself and Rob were super excited with that. Right now, I'm just pulling out my phone, and I'm going to set a timer to see how fast it takes for the fish to come to us. It's 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 way easier to let the fish come to you than you try to go to the fish. So if you if you're if you're out and you get a bite, you know that that fish is still with you all the time, right? If you're drifting, you got to come back to your exact spot and hope the fish is still there. Yeah, so this just works well. We find a, find a little high spot. Well, we've noticed that from the times that the fish held it where if you get a nibble or two nibbles, yeah. the fish usually do come back and they yeah, take the bait eventually. The Sometimes it's just take some time. Rod, it'll go to the next rod or yeah. something. Just kind of hop bait. around. Yeah. Hop around. So today we're going to be using the new Gibbs Delta power paddles. And with these with these here, are we jigging them? Well, we're going to put a little piece of bait on that yep. as well. And it, uh, it's, I think it's about 16 ounces or so, so yeah, it's fairly 16s. heavy, right? And it just kind of stays a little bit away from the boat compared to your cannonballs and spreader bars and stuff. And as the halibut are coming in, they usually find that first. So does it, is this resting on the bottom or it's is it going to be it's, it's, suspended it's, it's a little bit? suspended a little bit. It has really nice action to it yeah, too. The little it's, it's fish quite have soft. a hard time getting it, so, but they'll bite at it. So you'll know that they're coming, but the big fish, they just swallow. They'll just swallow the whole thing. Swallow. Crazy, let's see how this thing works. So there's two colors actually, starting off with the orange. Maybe we'll switch yeah. it up if well, we need we'll put to. Two out. We'll put the glow one out and the orange one and see what's better. Awesome. Brand it looks new. So good. I don't know if anybody. They look real. Ooh, and they have a really great action to them too. If I was a halibut, I'd bite this. We're fishing really deep. We have the jigs. I see you're attaching some salmon, it looks like, yep. on the hook. Yep. Now, is there any preference that the halibut like? Anything that's um, that works better than others? They like meat, but it changes. Sometimes we use the halibut bellies. Sometimes we use herring. Sometimes we use Just salmon. Just different, yeah. different parts of different yep. fish. Yeah, with the fish processing, we get a lot of a lot of scraps now. So yep. works pretty good. Good bait. Yeah, good bait. They're, you know what? They, they're they, not picky. They, no, they eat whatever they can find. They're scavengers, right? So they're like bears. Like bears. Oh, well, we yeah. saw some. We saw a bear yesterday. Yeah. Big and I, I also saw too you have a big cooler down there of, of the parts yeah. and you're talking about making a bait bag. Yeah. How does that work? That's just total scraps. You can use anything for that and that just put it down the bottom, makes a scent trail. And they, the just, just like bears, right? Oh. right? So they they come to our kitchen all the time because they smell the, the fresh baked goods and muffins and stuff like that. And that's what brings the bears to our place. So this is what is going to bring the halibut here. Exactly. Get it right down to the, the water. Yeah. 
and wait until it gets heavy. You're trying to time him pulling down. Yeah. You pull up, reel. Did you quickly like, Yeah, but set? don't get the rod up here. There's no leverage on the rod there. There's okay. nothing there. All your leverage is from the water to your shoulder. All so right. Basically, it's here. There. Like that? Yeah. Okay. It's not up it's here. Not a don't, big, don't huge do hook this. set. <laughs> don't do that. I'll probably do that, but I'll try not to. So down to the reel, down the to water. the water, very yeah. carefully, and then a lift and reel, reel. and then a lift. lift but nothing too high because then you have no leverage. Got it. All right. Okay. Are both rods down? Yes. Ready to start the timer? Sure. Can you even see that, guys? Three, two, one, go. We are already getting bites and it has been four minutes and 30 seconds. But this rod hasn't even been down for four minutes. It has, it's been down for like two. Half the time that one has. I started the timer too early. That's Some things around sniffing though. That's just a small fish, it can't get there. It can't grab it? Yeah. So do you worry, if it's a smaller fish though, do you worry about it just kind of stripping the bait off? It's pretty tough, salmon's really tough. Yeah. Any kind of skin. Right? It's too, it's too yeah. challenging. There's rockfish too, there's other fish. Well, something's down there. Something's, down there. something's saying hi. Okay. Five minutes. Dave, he actually was holding the rod and he could feel something biting. And uh, he was just sitting there waiting. And he was telling us that once you feel a fish bite, if you reel up on it and you lose it, drop your bait right down again um, because they'll just come back right to feed. So he was holding it, we watched him, and suddenly he did a quick set. Reel down, set again, and he has a halibut on. Paddle tail. Is it the paddle tail? Yep. Awesome. The orange one. And we have an orange and green out, right? Orange and glow. Orange and glow. This is the orange and glow. It's not a huge fish. It's a halibut. Oh, it's not that small. Oh, it actually, whoa. Jeez, it's a way different than I thought. The water looks Water gave it a, an interesting look. So what do we do with it now? Do you want, should we gaff it? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take that one. That's perfect for me. Okay. So the brown side or white side, but hard as you can, straight down. Brown side or straight white side? side? So straight down, hard, there you go. And haul them up one, one, one deal in and the boat. Hey, look at that. Now you gotta- Beautiful. Okay, one. Over here. So here, this one, pass me. And this one just wheel up. Just wait. Oh, you think he's got it? That one, you can feel it, let it go. Okay, he's got it. So, yep, crank hard. You got it. There you go. go. Yep, you got it. You got it. So the fish first hit this rod to my left, and then I didn't feel any weight when Dave told me to lift up on it, and it right away moved over to this one. So they, if you think one's around and you lose it on one rod, just wait for another one because they won't leave your bait alone. How deep are we? Just so I know, so I can mentally prepare myself for how long it'll take. gonna come up too probably. When we were trying to pull off the one halibut, um, we actually noticed this big mass underwater. And the first reaction was, is it a sunfish or is it a shark? 
And I wouldn't be surprised with either or because you saw a killer, you had a killer whale up, come up to grab what, your Hallie a couple weeks ago, right Dave? And then they had an octopus recently, so who knows what we'll find. It actually was a sunfish that came up and it's just leaving now. Uh, there was a porpoise right out there in front. And then Dave saw a humpback whale come up. So, and I can actually hear the, um, what is it called? The blowhole. Well, yeah, pouring water out. Shooting air. Again Another one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's like a school of them. Miss it? Those things are so though. quick. So, so, so now it's going to go somewhere else. Go somewhere else Which rod do we think it's going to go to? So it was here. Oh, he's back on this one here. Is it? Yeah. Here, Kitty, this is a good one. Take it in the corner there. And I'll get that alley over here. It's a heavy one. How did you see that bite? I didn't even see anything bite. It was so soft, they're not biting like they normally have. Are you sure the drag's even too loose? My goal is to fight like a really, really big heli so I can feel what it fights like. I'm just pulling the line up once I'm really up. Your back starts to hurt. My back started hurting after like the five reels. First five. It's a nice fish. Okay, Rod, I'm just gonna spray the floor so nobody slips. Oh, it's gone. What? Go. Got away? Must have ripped. No. Yeah. It just, the weight was suddenly gone. That's good. Fish. Yeah. Keep reeling? Yeah. Just so it's not all the way. We're just going to keep this one no matter what it is. Well, that's 10 pounds. If it's 10 pounds, I don't I want to release it. Where am I about now, Dave? What's that? Where about am I now? Uh, 100. Oh, no! Feel those head shakes. That's where I lost the last one. See that white mass yet? There it is. Beautiful fish. Yeah, time to move on. Yep. It is, it's been about two hours and we were man we managed to fight, um, we had chances at seven different halibut. We brought a couple up on board, uh, released them to try to get bigger ones. And then the last two that we've kept are a, a really good eating size. And uh, now we're going to move on to something else. As always, Dave didn't disappoint. Um, the first spot that we, that we came up to again was about 11 miles offshore and he knew that the fish would be there. We just needed to kind of have the, the tides agree with us a little bit more, have them slow down so we wouldn't drift as much. And once we found those spots, uh, the fish were just everywhere nonstop and we couldn't keep them off. So halibut fishing here at Cayuca is actually way different than anywhere else. Uh, we, when we got arrived at the lodge last night, um, some of the boats went out for salmon because they only had a little bit of time to fish. But others knew that they could go and get their clients halibut and actually two, two fish that were over 60 pounds were brought in. So if you're looking to come in for halibut or if you have never been halibut fishing before, Cayuca is definitely the first place that you should stop at.